And I got to wear Flagstaff now, right? Thanks to our driver. What's up? What's up? What's up? Gang, gang. I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm freezing. What's up, baby? Where are we at? Flagstaff. Flagstaff. A year later, here I, we are. What the but fuck? Just us two. What? No one else. What? What? I know. It's huh? crazy, right? Starting our new year at the same place that last year. So, yeah. Three years ago, three years, three years ago, Manny and I, well, Manny did a in and out review. It's called, I'll give it like a, a solid eight. Solid eight? Like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have tasted better burgers, but I mean, for a burger, like, this is like a fast food place, you know? So like, if you're like, you know, if you're hungry, and like, you, have, you only have like five bucks in your pocket, and you feel like eating like a quick burger. I thought you said it was seven bucks. Uh, I mean, I mean, well, I mean, with the fries and everything, drinks, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you want the meal, you know, then <laughs> totally go for that. Um, and Laura says she can do better, so let's see. In and Out Burgers, they're okay. They're not like the best. If you ever had Flood Records, that's the best burger. Robert can uh, approve of that. Right? Exact. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Agreed. Um, I'm not a huge fan of their buns because they're quite a little flaky, but that's probably because they are toasted. But even then, I'm not a fan of them. But they are a good burger for the price that you get right here. As you can see, you get a pretty good amount on it. You know what I'm saying? As for the animal fries, the top is good. But when you get to the bottom, it's just some plain potato on the bottom. And it tastes like plastic. But I mean, that's why you ask for in and out spread to add to the bottom of the fries. So it makes it better. So my overall review out of 10, I would give in and out a solid 7. To end this shit, it's okay. And I did a better job than Manny. End of discussion. Peace out. guys so as you can see guys this is my new home newly re uh, renovated and improved as you can tell right here we have a really awesome dishwasher I don't know how you use it but it's a dishwasher now if you come over here like it's microwave oh my gosh oh my gosh and then you close it too as you can see my, my lovely fans over here reacting to it they're making their own reaction videos we have Deborah, Laura and Luna in and we can't forget about the cameraman, Robert. What's up? And there, there you go. And right here, trash can. Ooh, it slides out. We now we recycle. Slides out? What else slides out? Uh, uh, Mr. Blue Balls over there. <laughs> oh, there's a blue balls. I got it. And right here, we have a modern cabinetry. Ironically, each of them were custom made each by hand. This is our new stove. I don't cook, but it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> that's some heat extractor crap, whatever it is. That's like double like the, oh, I think this is actually an air fryer. This is like the actual oven. We're looking good. And then over here, we got the good old Jack Daniels. Manny, What's what up? do you have to say to your audience? Guys, Jack Daniels Tennessee Honey is the best crap on earth. Where'd it go? Shout out to Cisco. Where'd the Jack Daniels go? It's getting colder. Oh, okay. And I don't know why, but my dad likes to get his custom made like tequila for some reason. It says Fuentes right there. So, I don't know why, but it's Don Julio, eh? And right there we have our wines. Pretty awesome, right? Ooh, as you can tell, we got some Stella Rose Black, Roscato, you name it. You name it, we got it. And this is our fridge right here. It's very uh, beautiful. Yeah, guys, so now this is our kitchen, really nice. And this is our dining table. Dining table is not really meant to be used, it's just there for funsies. And then over here, it's not the finished product yet, because they're going to throw out this door. I think the door's in the side yet right now, but... Yeah, and then over here, as you can tell, we uh, painted this a totally different color. So, you know, yeah, it has to, like, I guess, bounce out or whatever. And then you come over here, our bathroom is new and improved. It's pretty awesome, right? Oh, I like the shower head here, watch. It's very, uh, how do you say? 
pretty like bad hands. Look at that. It looks like a slice of pizza. The finest. The thinnest slices in the world. And uh, and yeah guys. So this is not even like covering my parents' room. I don't wanna go in there because you might find things that you probably shouldn't find, you know? But uh but yeah, really nice. And this is just the bottom, you know. We haven't even like looked upstairs, which is exciting too. Which we will get to. And welcome <laughs> to tonight's game for three contenders. The one with the carrot and blue balls. Poor guy. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna be competing in the Santa's Cookies and Milk Challenge. So right here, we all have 15 cookies right now. Ooh, and two glasses of milk. Woo -hoo! Two blue balls. Can't and forget that. <laughs> Carry balls, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, the goal here is to uh, eat, uh, see who can eat the most amount of cookies and the milk in one minute. Deborah, please show us the timer. There we go. Woo! Three, two, one, start! Woo! Oh. Sponsors? Who's sponsoring us this video? No one. Oh. <laughs> we need money. 